Engineer's Logbook. And we put this site together, hopefully to inspire people to understand more about electricity, electronics, and computers in general, and to take some of the magic out of uh, devices such as tablets, computers, phone, cell phones, etc. So um, one of the things that we're going to go and really uh, go into a lot more in this blog is uh, what we call microcontrollers. And uh, here's several different microcontrollers. Here's the popular Arduino. Uh, here's the uh, another popular board, the Raspberry Pi. And here is uh, another board, which is, is a very cheap board and very good for people to get started. Also, is the Texas Instruments Launchpad. In, in addition to explaining what these devices are, how they work, and so on, and demystifying consumer electronics, the other thing that we want to be able to do is to uh, allow you to go and have enough confidence to actually build things with these microcontroller boards. And one of the microcontrollers that, that's very popular as well that I'm uh, shown here is Microchip. And Microchip makes several different uh, microcontrollers. And here is just a sample of something that I uh, was able to build online very easily. Now, sometimes uh, the, one of the other goals that we have is to make things very simple. And some of the times there's things on the internet, such as building a, a 3D LED cube, which um, have incomplete instructions or very confusing. And with this one, it was a Jenko kit that, that I put together. However, the um, Jenko just uh, gave you the parts and said, OK, here's the uh, place on the internet to, to, for the instructions. However, several things with the instructions were incorrect with this. And if somebody followed the directions, you would quickly get lost and not figure out what you're, how to complete this. Luckily, I was able to find some other resources and pull a lot of stuff together in order to, to be successful in building this. But I can see very many people uh, that, you know, you may see this on the internet and go, wow, cool. You see, Jenko has it, and you know, you buy the kit thinking you're going to get this thing all put together. And if you don't have much of an electronics background, you're not going to be very successful at putting this together. So, um, what I, my goal is for this blog is to allow people to, to gain the confidence to put things like this together by providing simple and complete instructions to everyone. So uh, just sit back and enjoy and uh, go through these and actually get your hands dirty and try to, to do some of this stuff yourself. And I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. There's a lot of other great people on the internet doing the same things and I suggest that you go and visit their sites. Um, some of them are like uh, Adafruit, uh, uh, Lehman, Lemore Freed, uh, she's put to, also known as uh, Lady Ada, has put together a wonderful store to buy stuff. She's also got plenty of tutorials up there on how to do different things and uh, does a, a great video um, a live blog every uh, Saturday night that you should go and check out. Um, then there's also um, Ben Heck Show, which Element 14 has uh, sponsored, sponsors him. And uh, you should go and check out uh, the Ben Heck Show. It's an excellent uh, video blog. And then also another one that I really like is uh, EEV Blog uh, from a guy in Australia. And I'm sorry, I don't recall his name at the moment. But uh, he's also got a very good show. So those three are my three top picks uh, today. Uh, for getting into electronics. But one thing is to, to know is none of this runs by magic. There's science behind it and math. And it's, but it's very, it's not, it's accessible to everybody is really what it is. is you've got to just be able to understand a little bit. And I'm hoping that I can go and actually help you understand. Um, and if I can't, perhaps uh, one of the other people that I mentioned would be able to help you. So thanks for watching.